Hello and welcome to the talk. I'm Lakshmi Karkinet. Today we are at the National Commission for Human Rights and we're joining Dr. Obeid Al Shaksi, the Secretary General. And of course, you've got two important campaigns that started now with the summer school, as well as something that will start off in a few days' time, which will take you throughout the country. So let us join Dr. Obeid Al Shaksi. And uh, thank you, sir, for joining us on Hi, this Lakshmi. day. I'm very happy for having this interview with you and uh, wish you all the best. Uh, Dr. Obeid, could you tell us, uh, first of all, it's summer and uh, you have collaborated, the Commission is in collaboration with Ministry of Education with teaching values to children. Right. Uh, this is an annual program that the Ministry of Education always run and we have always been a continuous participant in the summer program in which that we offer lectures in regarding human rights issues to students and also teachers mm -hmm. uh, that were that are attending actually these summer uh, programs in different governorates. And in fact, this summer program started this week. Uh, we have already deployed a number of employees. They were all giving lectures in the governorates of uh, Dakhdiya, uh, Batuna, and today, Monday, mm -hmm. uh, we are also uh, having a lecture in Shakhiya region. Now, uh, there is something that is very significant. You would be, uh, the Commission would be having a campaign throughout the Gunrit of Oman. Yes. And you're starting it off in Salala? Yes, we have started this initiative, actually, uh, we will start it this, uh, this year, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, because it coincides actually with the Salala Festival. So we have chosen the government of Kufar uh, to be the first hub for, for the Commission. And in this campaign, we will have uh, a three days uh, of visiting, meeting, and lectures. Uh, in the first, uh, it will start actually on the 16th of this month, 16th of August, okay. 2015, uh, by visiting a number of uh, government and non-government institutions and establishments, including NGOs, for instance, uh, hospital, and also industrial areas. And we will have a very, uh, optimistic meeting, I would rather call it, uh, in the office of the uh, governor governor of uh, Abdufar, uh, His Highness, uh, Abu Saidi. Uh, and in that meeting also we asked for uh, inviting a number of uh, director generals, okay. director generals in, in different institutions, government institutions that are uh, situated in Salala and in Dufar in general in order to exchange views about human rights and reach out the message of uh, human rights, raising their awarenesses, and also talking about uh, certain specific issues that are really uh, prone to that region. Okay. Um, and now, that's something very important you also mentioned, is the industrial areas. What are the areas of concern when it comes to industries and the laborer? Right. The most important thing are the workers, are the laborers. And just we need to make sure that their rights are observed. Of course, they have rights and duties at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. But we, make, we want to make sure that they are working in a very good condition and uh, the working environment is very hospitable and also it is in line with the regulations uh, uh, that are applied here in Oman. Uh, not to forget also, we uh, are... Uh, having a special quorum mm. at the Salala Festival yes. for the Commission itself. Okay. Uh, there are a number of employees there uh, mm. throughout the festival. Uh, their responsibility is to reach out the message of human rights and raise people's awarenesses. Uh, different segments in the society will be uh, expected actually to buy or come by that, that quorum. And also this year we have also started a special uh, contest or programs for the kids mm -hmm. in which that uh, they will have uh, a number of questions will be thrown to them and they will be given gifts mm -hmm. for those who have uh, answered these questions correctly. So we are trying in fact uh, to broaden our reach. We don't want actually to confine ourselves to certain segments in the society okay. but kids are also included, workers, non-workers, institutions, government and non-government institutions. These are all included, so at least we are trying as much as we can to uh, uh, be in touch with different uh, institutions and different segments in the society. 
Dr. Baird, one final question. When it comes to human rights in Oman, what is the main concern area? In fact, if you have divided the issues of human rights into two major areas, one of them is civil, uh, civil and political, and the other one is economic, social, and cultural. Okay. We found that the mo the, most of them fall under the social and cultures. Okay. Uh, such as uh, uh, housing conditions, for mm -hmm. instance, very good housing condition, and uh, uh, also education. Uh, some of the issues also relate to uh, kind of citizenship, especially uh, those who have. Uh, uh, been married to Omanis, Omani females who are married to non-Omanis, and erratically from time to time because these are like uh, periodical, not, not, mm. not, not pre sorry, not erratical, not periodical yeah. issues like uh, 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 elections and all of these things. Right. They come to the commission as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, so uh, in fact, we are open to all different types of uh, uh, issues that deals with human rights according to the basic law of Oman, according to the international covenants that Oman has ratified, uh, and also according to the ethics and values of the society. When, when you talked about uh, Omani women married to outsiders, are you worried about the children's it's, nationalities? It's... Uh, Citizenship? Normally, child nationalities goes to the fa with the father. Fathers. Yes, goes with the father. That is uh, yeah. absolutely the rights of the father, by the way, until they reach the age of uh, property or 18, whatever. Okay. And then they will decide for themselves. Okay. Mm. But the ma major issue is that to make sure that non uh, Omani females or Omani women married to non Omanis live in a very stable uh, condition. Okay. So, uh, just uh, um, that this means that they can live as a family together. Okay. Yeah. And they're protected. They the are always protected, protected, yes. Okay. But the thing is, I mean, uh, uh, since that this right is given, for instance, to an Omani female to get married to an Omani, uh, of course, that goes along with it a number of issues relating to uh, building or starting a very stable and uh, secure family. Thank you so, so much for your time. No problem. I wish you all the sure best you. and the Thank team. You. The Thank, best. You Thank you very much. Thank you. Now is Dr. Obeid al Shaksi speaking to us uh, from the National Human Rights Commission right here in Gala. I'm Lakshmi Kathna, thanking you for joining us. This has been The Talk.